Women's History Month, we're starting off talking about women and finances in today's Money Monday segment with financial planner Rob Wilson. Good morning, Rob. Good morning. Yeah, you say women face some unique challenges when it comes to money. Let's talk about with some interesting facts. Yeah, here are the facts. And the first thing is that there's a very big pay disparity that still does exist between men and women. And so typically women only make 80 cents on the dollar when compared with men in similar positions. And so wow. that's that's something that's lingered on. It's gotten better over time, mm -hmm. but you do still have that, that pay uh, disparity that exists. So there are a lot of unique circumstances that I think women face. I mean, there's no one size fits all sort of solution when it comes to financial planning in general, but women I think uh, face a number of, of difficulties in, in this area. Is that 80 cents on the dollar? Is that because of different types of job or because they're out of the workforce or is it just flat out women are paid less than the man for doing the exact same job? Well, it doesn't typically compare lawyer to lawyer or mm -hmm. physician to physician, but what happens is you have men who are disproportionately associated with much more higher paying jobs, say CEOs of, of Fortune 500 I companies, see. which tends to skew that number uh, towards the high side. But again, even I'm sure if even if you looked at it in firms or right. in professions, you probably still see a little bit of disparity there as well. Okay, what about pink collar jobs? Those still exist. Absolutely, and I, although I have the pink shirt on today, <laughs> uh, women are disproportionately associated with pink collar jobs. And when I say that, I mean teaching um, and, and nurses and healthcare mm -hmm. and things like that. And so those jobs tend to pay less, you know, over the long term. And so when you have that concentration of women pursuing those those careers, they tend to make less uh, over time. Yeah, and I was surprised to learn the facts about women, how much time they spend out of the workforce, whether it's caring for a child or maybe an uh, elderly loved one. You're, you're exactly right. Women tend to be caregivers of the family. And so on average, that's 11 years out of the workforce. And when you wow. think about that, you're not earning a salary, you're not putting any money away in your 401k, mm -hmm. and you're also not accruing Social Security benefits yeah. either. And so that type of time out of the workforce can really be a detriment to your long-term financial plan. And now to the reasoning, one of the reasons you need to start planning your finances is women live longer than men. That's true. And so my friends would say, I, I don't say this, but my friends <laughs> would say that women live longer because, you know, they worry their husbands to death. I didn't say that, though. That, does, that doesn't come from me. But, well, you're not married, so you don't right, have to, right. so to worry I'm, about I'm, that. Right, right. So I'm free on that one. But, but women do uh, tend to live longer than men. Um, on average by seven years. So what all of this means is that at some point in their lives, uh, women are going to be responsible, you know, for their finances. Yeah. And so it's, it's, it's going to be really important to understand that. And I was surprised it said 75% of women will be widows. On average, they become widows at age 56. Right. That's surprising. Right. And, that's, so. and, that's, and that's very young. Yeah. But if you haven't paid attention to those financial issues up to that point, and then suddenly you're thrust in a position where you have to handle all those issues, it can be, it can be very devastating. Absolutely. And then divorce, of course, so that's an issue. Right. Too. You know, unfortunately, the numbers say 50% of all marriages end in divorce and so again you could wake up one day and now everything's on you and so what are you going to yeah. do in that situation all right well it's not all bad times are changing Ten, so times are stuff. definitely changing so what happened is women actually fared better during the recession so the unemployment rate for women was uh, only 7.8 percent as huh. compared to over 10 percent for men and be, that's because of those pink collar jobs right. the education jobs the health care jobs remained in in high demand where you have more male dominated industries like construction let's say that you know totally went in the tank right. and so they fared much better and and tend to, and have started to earn more money the the other interesting fact here is now 22 percent of wives are now earning more than their husbands. Wow. And that number was only 4% in 1970. So oh you can see those roles sort of starting to be uh, turned on their heads there. Yeah, well, that's good news, too. And um, up from, uh, yeah, 4%. And a lot of that is that the Fair Pay Act of 2009. Did that have anything to do with that? That helps. The, the laws are changing. So the actually the first law that President Obama signed into, uh, into effect was the Fair Pay Act of 2009, mm. which makes it easier for individuals to to, uh, sue their employers if they feel like there's uh, some discrimination going yeah. on there. So that I think that has definitely helped. And you also have more women on top. We talked about those Fortune 500 right. companies. You now have 15 women who are CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, and that's the largest number that we've ever seen. Yeah. So so times are, are definitely changing and getting better. But um, 15 still some out work of 500. Do. That's not many. Not a huge number, no. but you know you have to start somewhere. Yeah. So you know baby steps. All right, room to go. So let's talk about more work to do. You say get more involved.
involved with finances. How do you do that? You, you, you really do. So if you you have to be involved and really know. I, I, I do think that the tendency for a lot of women is to say, well, I'll just let my husband handle the, the nuts and bolts. Right. I think women are very involved in big purchases, house, car, things like that. But you got to know the nuts and bolts of it. You need to meet the financial advisor, the attorney, your accountant. You need to know those individuals so that if you need to step mm -hmm. in that role, you'll have that relationship as well. Um, I think women should also start to pursue more higher paying jobs. So don't necessarily shy away from engineering and finance jobs because it, it, it seemed more male dominated in previous years. Uh, you actually have a lot more women in college now than men. And so I think they're going to start to pursue those higher paying jobs. Right. Um, I think you also want to plan your career and really talk about this with your spouse uh, if you're a woman. So maybe you don't have to spend all of that time out of the workforce mm -hmm. if you sort of coordinate that, you know, with your husband and figure out how you can plan, you know, when you're going to have children. Right. And uh, the last thing is uh, women really need to protect their, themselves. We talked about them becoming widows or getting divorced. So if that's going to happen, you know, you want to make sure that your spouse has life insurance uh, because the woman is typically going to live longer. Mm -hmm. And also because women live so long, you want to think about long term care. I mean, my, my mother was actually in a nursing home for a number of years. Uh, it's very expensive yeah. if you get into that situation. So think about putting a long-term care policy in place if, if you're going to, you know, everyone's living a lot longer, especially right. women. And when you see 75% of women will be widowed at some point, they probably are going to need that. So Yeah, I mean, you have thought. to ho hope for the best, and, but, but, you know, plan for, plan. plan for the worst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Rob. Always Thank great you. advice. And thanks to Rob Wilson, Blazer Capital Management. You can look for his Money Monday segment every other week here.